Hi everyone, it's Millie, back with another video giving you my five recommendations on things to do in Nice. Nice is a beautiful coastal city in the south of France on the French Riviera. I was there last year for a week gigging with my band so I had plenty of time during the day to explore the city. Now it was January so it was pretty cold and windy but we did get some beautiful sunshine which was nice. So on our first morning we woke up bright and early and went and checked out the castle on the hill which coincidentally is called Castle Hill. This was recommended to us by one of the bar staff in the venue where we were gigging and it was the perfect thing to do on our first day as we really got to take in the beauty of the city. And to be honest this was probably my favourite attraction while we were there. There's two ways to get up to the castle. There are steps but there are a lot of them so be prepared for a workout. If you don't fancy it, there is also a lift which takes you straight to the top, which unfortunately we only realised after we'd already walked to the top. But to be honest, it was well worth it as the views all the way up there were fantastic. There are several different viewpoints, so take a bit of time to explore. The first one we got to has a beautiful waterfall which you can walk all the way around, but be careful, you'll get soaking wet. The best views were right at the top where we got to see all of Nice. Everything from the Mediterranean Sea to the snowy mountains overlooking Nice, it was lovely. Next on my list is the English Promenade. It's impossible to talk about Nice without mentioning the famous English Promenade. It's actually the most popular tourist attraction of the city, which runs all the way from Castle Hill to Nice Airport, which is a whopping 7 kilometres. You're going to find lots of locals as well as tourists all the way along here as it's the most stunning place to go for a walk in the city. If you're not much of a walker, it is possible to rent bikes or rollerblades. There are loads of access points down to the beach which do have a lot of large pebbles on it, so it's not the comfiest beach in the world. However, looking out at the blue sea makes it all worth it. Even in January, there were quite a lot of people chilling out on the beach. After you've checked out the promenade, you have to visit the third place on my list, the I Love Nice sign. This is the perfect place to get a few Instagram photos, standing in front of the sign with the Mediterranean Sea as your backdrop. This is also a really cool area to sit and chill as you watch planes flying to Nice Airport. There is also a really cool sundial next to the sign which dates back to 1981. There isn't really too much to say about this spot, but I'd still make sure it's on your list. Number four, no trip to any city would be complete without checking out the main shopping street. This long street is full of all kinds of shops and boutiques. There is a tram that travels straight down the middle of the street, which I thought was really quirky. You can't walk around too far without hearing live music being played from the numerous buskers on the pavement. As well as shops looking out to the main street, there is also a large shopping centre where you'll find a diverse mix of international brands as well as local establishments. If you're hungry, on the third floor you will find a good selection of cafes, bakeries, restaurants and bars, which is lovely to sit down and relax after a full day of shopping. Last one, number five. Get lost exploring the city. One of the days we were there, we had a few of us free, so decided to have a wander around and ended up finding a few hidden gems. We came across loads of quirky, unique shops and a few different types of markets. Don't forget to check out the harbour, which is also beautiful. We had a lovely time strolling around here. Before I leave, I want to give you one last recommendation, and that is to visit Wayne's Bar. This is an awesome live music venue and different to any other bar that Nice has to offer. They have live music every day from early evening into the late hours. They have a great selection of food here served all day by the friendliest of staff. But things really got going at night when the bands start. You'll find everyone will be dancing on the tables and up for a laugh. Usually a DJ takes to the stage after the band finishes to keep the party going. This place has such a fun atmosphere and if you're looking for a good time when you visit Nice, it would be a shame to miss this place out. So there we have it, my top five recommendations on things to do in Nice. I really hope you enjoy your trip there and that this video helps you plan your stay. If you have any interest on watching my band's experience in Nice, I'll leave a link on the screen now. 
So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. But if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and remember to head over to my Instagram to keep up to date with where I am and what I'm up to. Thanks again guys and I'll see you next Friday. Wow.